Hey everybody, uh, Dustin DePirac here, Ryan Karchi, the return of the ginger, Zach Osterman. We haven't had him in here in a while. He is now the uh, recruiting reporter for 24-7 Sports Inside Indiana, uh, all of those things, moving up in the world. Uh, anyway, we are, real quick, we're here at the, uh, the Casa de Garrison, the uh, family of Mr. Osterman's fiance, Audrey. Uh, they have been kind enough to allow us to use their home to write and do some other things as we just left uh, Lawrence Central. Uh, for Jeremy, Sol Jeremy Hollowell's signing day. Uh, so long day today. We went to uh, three signings. Yogi Farrell at uh, 11 o'clock this morning in Park Tudor. Uh, Ron Patterson at Broad Ripple at 3. And um, shoot. Uh, Jeremy Hollowell at 7 o'clock. And assistant coach is calling Dustin's Yeah, team. right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what's going on. i got to call him in a minute. Anyway, uh, so basically the movement has finally truly come to pass. Gary Harris, by the way, will not be a part of it. Uh, he just uh, recently, I guess, confirmed first to Brian Snow of Scout.com and a few others have confirmed to us that he will be going to Michigan State. So anyway, the movement will uh, end at five people, but uh, it's a pretty good class. It's not a pretty good yet. class. Can't complain. Recruiting never stops. <laughs> Fair point. At Indiana, recruiting never stops. It, Tom Crean never stops recruiting. Mm. So anyway, let's uh, let's get started. Zach, I mean, we've, we've watched these guys a lot. Uh, just how good is this class that they're bringing in here? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a good class. I know we've talked about this, uh, mm. uh, you know, a thousand For a times, year, really, like more now. or less. Um, mm. it, it, that was kind of the surreal thing to me today was to actually watch them all sign. I mean, mm. it just seems like between how good they are, like the group, you know, how much we've followed them, how how much we've seen them all together as a group, so we've kind of watched this whole growth together. And then you talk about all the anxiety of way of the fan base having to wait for them to get here mm -hmm. um, or for this day to get here. It was very strange to actually see them all sign and see them all suddenly part of the program. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, officially, like Tom Crean can just... Talk about Jeremy them whenever name, whenever he Pana feels like. Peter Jordan. Yeah, he can just yeah. be like, rebounding was great tonight, Jeremy Hallowell. Mm. Um, <laughs> just right. You know, but it, it's a class with balance. It's a class mm. it, It's a class with balance and a class with upside because you've got mm. players like Hunter Perea who is nowhere near the player he needs to be fundamentally mm. uh, right. to, to, to compete at the level that I think he's capable of in college athletically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got players like uh, Ron Patterson. You know, we heard his AAU coach Chris Hawkins make a, a sort of comparison today that I'd never seen, but I thought was very apt. Was was kind of a, a lot like Victor Oladipo. Mm -hmm. He's athletic. got a different skill yeah, set a little good. bit, but some there's stuff some that really needs polish. But mm -hmm. the tools are all there, and he and he's I think I think he's proven himself as a pretty hard worker. And then you've got mm -hmm. a guy like Jeremy Hollowell, and you know people have said that, that you know he's a slightly better Christian Watford. Well. <laughs> I mean, whether he yeah. is or not, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. if that's the case, that's not a bad thing to be. I mean, like, not you know, necessarily. Yeah. He's, you know, again, a, a kid who, if it continues to kind of click into place for him the way we saw at the end of this past summer, um, a kid who can, you know, really end up being a, a true a like, he NBA was, level mm -hmm. talent. He was unbelievable at, he, at, at the Adidas Invitational in Indianapolis mm -hmm. this summer. I mean, he was really good. Like, we. We we spent so much time talking. You mentioned the, the kind of Christian Watford comparison. I guess the mm -hmm. biggest knock on Christian is uh, you know not having fire in every single game, and that's the biggest thing on Hollowell. And and you know his high school coach J R Shell was talking about that uh, today. That you know he has been getting on for that for a long time. But that was when you really kind of saw the spark in Hollowell, and because you really kind of saw him put in a position where he was playing great teams with great players on his side, mm -hmm. uh, and there was more kind of driving him maybe than it had ever been before. And I think he found a gear that maybe he didn't even know he had. Um, and that was kind of when I think you saw, and, and to tell you the truth, that was the point where I looked, I watched Hollywood and said, you know, this team doesn't need Gary Harris yeah. necessarily. Mm -hmm. This class doesn't need Gary Harris. It's a, it's a bonus. Obviously Harris is, you know, I, I think I'd take Harris over Hollowell if given the option, but hollowell has got a pretty special skill set. I mean, he can shoot the heck out of it, mm -hmm. can, you know, can drive, can do a lot of things. I think he, I think it, I thought about this more today, kind of thinking mm -hmm. back to July, um, I think it really helped him to be in that group. I think yeah, there was absolutely. a comfort level of, of looking around and saying, okay, this isn't just another AAU team. This isn't just another elite camp or you know, mm -hmm. summer camp that I'm at. This is the group of guys I'm going to go to college with. This right. is who mm -hmm. I'm going to try and build a championship mm -hmm. program with. Right. It's so, not even the team that he just carries on his back all the time. At the yeah. Central. yeah. yeah. It, like, you know, so there was this feeling of he just seemed more comfortable and therefore it seemed easier for him to pick out where he could find mm. his shots, how he could find his shots, when to really, mm. you know, when his teammates wanted him to attack, mm. um, when, when maybe he needed to pull out and, or, you know, back off a little bit and calm mm. down. So, 
you know, I, 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 as I thought about it more today, I really do think playing in that group really helped with that comfort level with him this summer. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach and I have watched these guys tons of times. Ryan, this is kind of his first experience. It is. Uh, seeing the movement. Uh, as it were, I guess you know. Obviously, you don't. You still haven't got a chance to actually mm -hmm. watch them play. But what struck you just about some of the things that they said today? I guess just about. Uh, I know it struck me that they kind of all all three of the guys we saw mentioned the word national championship. Yeah. I mean, they they have clearly talked about it together. I mean, it's it's something that you can you can tell has been on their minds since day one from mm -hmm. from talking to each other about being on the same team and mm -hmm. and they've had one clear goal in mind and that's the only goal they talked about. They didn't talk about. Winning mm -hmm. a Big Ten championship. They didn't talk mm -hmm. about, you know, just improving in general. They talked right. about national championships. They talked mm -hmm. about hanging banners. And, you know, not having seen not having seen them play or not having been here, mm -hmm. I could still kind of feel the symbolism of mm -hmm. the moment. You can still tell how much Indiana fans wanted mm -hmm. this day to come and, mm -hmm. and just looking at Twitter, I mean I mean, they're following they're spending the entire day following mm -hmm. these yeah. people signing, you know, four pieces of paper. Right. So I mean, just just seeing that and just hearing them talk, you know, this is this is something that you can feel a, a change mm. is coming. Mm. Now, whether how big of a change that is, whether that does mean you know mm. hanging that sixth banner like all of them seem to have seem to have on their minds. I mean, whether whether mm. it means that change or whether it means just having an NCAA tournament team. Right. I mean, I think you can really see that change on the horizon. Yeah, right? I mean, it, it should be said. I mean, this is kind of in a way, it's the movement part too. I mean. Mm. Today was not as, uh, I guess, anticipated, and it was not as sort of earth-shaking maybe as, as when Cody Zeller signed his uh, a letter in, of intent, but this is kind of the next building block on top of that. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, in a way, like, it all sort of happened at the same time in terms of when they were verbally committing, um, but, you know, kind of part one is kind of the Etherington-Zeller class, kind of Etherington, in a way, started it from the beginning. He might not be at quite the level uh, as some of these guys in terms of mm -hmm. a vaunted and, and uh, you know, I guess... Um, you know, Ballyhood who'd recruit, I guess maybe that's a word. Um, but, you know, Zeller obviously was, and then sort of everything else sort of built on top of that. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how it's going to be with the team in general. I mean, the, the foundation is, is kind of been laid even by, by the previous classes. And then on top of that, you have Zeller. And then you add that, you know, like th these five guys are not going to win a title on their own mm -hmm. necessarily. I mean, there's mm -hmm. going to be, they probably are, if they're going to do it, they probably have to do it while Cody's there, most likely. I mean, I think it would be mm -hmm. kind of tough for them to do it going forward after that, but it's sort of the next sort of piece of it, and that was kind of, I guess, like we said, the anticipation of just adding this group when it really becomes, you know, you, you insert a talent level, I guess, that's sort of beyond what, uh, or, or at least puts you somewhere in that vicinity of it's, being a challenge. It's not so much a foundation now as it's about mm. expectations. Yeah. Right. I mean, those, there was, with Zeller, I mean, there was still an understanding that, you know, mm. this team's not there yet. We have mm. one piece, we're on our way, but we're not there. Now... You're mm -hmm. going to see that kind of t turning a corner, I think. Right. And and I think we could see that today with just some of the confidence in mm -hmm. in them. And, and I think they know the same thing. I think they mm -hmm. know they're not there just to be foundation pieces. They're, mm -hmm. they're there to kind of finish that puzzle. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's why you hear any talk about national championships. The right. day Cody Zeller committed was the day that you laid the foundation mm -hmm. for your house that you're building. Today was the day you moved in. Mm -hmm. Today was the day that, that you started the process of actually living in that house. And obviously, mm -hmm. they've got to wait for these kids to get to campus. But mm -hmm. again, I mean, for all intents and purposes, when you sign your letter of intent, you are part of the program. You know, right. you obviously don't have any academic expectations placed on you yet because you're mm -hmm. not in school. But, you know. But there are things you can do that you, you couldn't do before. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. and, and, you know, these kids are basically, a lot of times you'll see kids, and certainly I think with this group, and especially the kids from Indianapolis, Patterson, Hollowell, Farrell, mm -hmm. I think you're going to see the three of them just kind of around the program all the time. But yeah, exactly. Same way you did really last there. year, but it's going to be even, it's going to be an even more sort of intrinsic or mm. comfortable thing now. Right, the rules are very much, you know... The doors have been thrown open as right. far as they're As far as them, the them just being around and stuff like that. And, I mean, the interesting thing, of course, is going to be how this group gets, uh, you know, works in with, with the regular guys. Because there's, and beyond just Zeller, he's not the only player there. There's a lot of guys that are still there that are, that are part of you know, an existing foundation, the, the Jordan Holes, Maurice Creek, Christian Watford, Derek Elston class, you know, and Oladipo and Sheehy. And they all have to learn how to work with these guys, you know, for as much as they talked about the movement. I think there is at least some respect, at least you heard it from Jeremy Hollowell, that, you know, there are players there. Mm -hmm. We're not just going to walk in the door and, and take over and kick everybody else out. There is some level of it's talent. It's not the Fab Five. No, mm -hmm. it, yeah. there, there is something there. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you're not going to kick Vic Oladipo and Will Sheehy out of the starting lineup just by walking in the door. Um, but, you know, there... 
it, it will be interesting to see how those guys all build mm-hmm. together because there is so much attention there. And maybe that'll end up being a good thing, just the notion that maybe the older guys just kind of want to prove to them, hey, like you don't get to walk in and just start. Uh, it but that, like that dri- can drive everything, that level of competition. Hollowell said this most openly, but it did seem like there was kind of this general feeling that, that these guys aren't nearly as caught up in the attention as maybe we mm-hmm. would just kind of mm-hmm. assume they are. Um, right. You know, they, they, they were all, I think that varies based on player to player. Though. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's still just generally, I think, you know, again, you compare it to the Fab Five, there's not that feeling no. from this group. No. That, you know, we're going to we're gonna swagger into the practice, you know, into, <laughs> yeah. into the weight room and everything. Take it just over. Gonna, yeah. You know, bow down. Exactly. So, but anyway, I guess you could say the movement is here. I don't know. That really is a terrible <laughs> way to end this. Here. It's <laughs> not really here. It's a year ago or something, or I don't know. I really shouldn't have said that. But anyway. <laughs> it might be in Bloomington on Friday. You don't know. We're ending it anyway. So uh, thanks, everybody. And thanks. we'll see, talk to you Friday.